Hey, Back to Basics fans, it's TJ here, coming to you with Bati Week. And this week we're uh, continuing on with uh, the sabotage and self-sabotage uh, theme. And this week we're talking about how do we self-sabotage with food, uh, how we do with alcohol, what kind of foods do we uh, use, or things that, that we use to pre prevent ourselves from self-sabotaging. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if I said I'm from Fat Kings TV. So there's a plug, maybe twice. So self-sabotaging. In <clears throat> last week's video, in my video, um, I told you guys that I'm more of a self-destructive person than a self-sabotager. And that's just kind of in an overall sense. Whenever you get into foods, I... I think I do tend to self-sabotage. You can still self-destruct with it, but I do self-sabotage because, um, like, whenever I was, I think it was right before I got to goal, I started eating lots of things, uh, not necessarily bad things, uh, but things in excess. I started eating around my sleeve, so um, I would get a large plate of food, and then I would uh, not be able to eat it, so I would just eat a little bit of it every half hour or so until it was all gone and consume high amount of calories. I know I shouldn't do it and uh, it caused my weight to really take a while to, to get down to goal. So I, I think I was self-sabotaging the reason being I, I didn't really want to get to goal so quick. Um, <clears throat> so I think with foods, uh, yeah, I, I definitely self-sabotage. Um, I think anytime you sit down and you eat what would be considered off-plan um, is not necessarily self-sabotaging. I mean, you're allowed to go out and have a you know, meal with uh, the family for a certain occasion, but if you find yourself eating out every meal or if you find yourself... Um, you know, uh, eating excessive amounts of food over long periods of time, things like that. I think that at that point, that's when it becomes self-sabotaging. So some things that I do to prevent self-sabotage is not a lot because I just keep, uh, I guess what I do would be I keep very few things in the house. So we have popcorn, which would be, could be considered a self-sabotage food, uh, because I don't go for the, you know, low, zero everything. I go full movie, Orv Orville Redenbacher, highly chemicalized, buttery, salty, sweet taste of God that they put in it. And then I even add a little extra butter. But uh, anyway, uh, perky jerky, popcorn, um, <clears throat> Quest bars, uh, Fit Frat Pay, what else? Um, then a lot of uh, meats, lean meats, lots of chicken. I use uh, pretty much just chicken thighs. Uh, any kind of white meat, ugh, can't do it. And uh, the drumsticks, just, I, I don't think they're great. So I, I find thighs, chicken thighs, to be good to cook with. Um, and then I think something else I might self-sabotage with is alcohol and juice. So we generally have alcohol and juice here. So um, mix, making my mixed drinks that I drink quite often, um, I guess that is self-sabotaging. I mean, drinking alcohol and, and especially juices is not good. And if you do it rarely on occasion, special occasion, I wouldn't consider that self-sabotaging, but if you're doing it constantly, just for the hell of it, like us alcoholics do, um, then I think that's some self-sabotaging uh, going on. Um, we do have soda in the house, but I can't drink it. Um, I've tried carbonated beverages. That's something else, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know if it's self-sabotaging, but I really have pushed the limits of my sleeve. So I've tried carbonated beverages. Can't do them. Start getting foamy, burpy not good. I can't have pasta. I vomit immediately. If I eat rice, I vomit immediately. If I eat bread, I vomit it immediately. If I eat sugar, um, if I eat like a, I guess a large amount of sugar, I, I vomit immediately. But um, if I have like a little wedge of baklava, it makes me sick, but I can tolerate it. Um, so that way I, baklava is like my kryptonite I guess <laughs> if you want to use the term 
Um, I, I can't help but eat it. I, I mean, it, if I did throw up, I would still eat it because it would be worth throwing up just to eat it and taste it twice. Mm. I know some of you just went, ooh. Um, <clears throat> what else? So we got water. Oh, popsicles, sugar-free popsicles. Uh, also, I have a, a slushy maker that makes um, like a snow cone uh, machine, I guess. And so it chips up the ice, and then I make like a, a condensed version of a crystal light syrup. Also, just I put a little bit of hot water and then like a packet, two packets of crystal light in there, depending on how much ice I've shaved. And then I put it on there, and it's, I mean, it tastes like, uh, it's its awesome. It's an amazing, like, dessert-type treat, especially once summer gets here, because we're all sick and tired of fucking winter. Um, so once summer gets here, it, it's a good good thing for you. It's a good thing for the kids. I'm pretty sure the kids will like it, too, because since you're using it, such a condensed version of Crystal Light or the, the Kool-Aid Light thing or whatever they are, um... It, it has a, a really good taste to it. it. Tastes just like a snow cone. So uh, anyway, that's something that you can try. Um, other than that, I, I don't really cheat. Even fried foods, if I eat deep fried foods, I tend to get sick on those. So <clears throat> really, my sleep does does what it does. I but I do push the limits of it. I do tend to eat around it. And those are just some ways I self-sabotage. But I always try to keep on-the-go foods, like I said, Quest Bars and uh, Perky Jerky um, and even Shake stuff. And that's just so if I'm out and about, like I can keep a bag of Perky Jerky in the car, one in my office. My wife keeps a couple in at her office. She might throw one in her car. So they're just there if you get hungry or if it's mealtime and you can't get to, um, you know, you can't get any other type of decent food you can eat one of those and uh, it's only like a hundred calories or 170 depending on which type of perky jerky you're eating for the whole bag so really you could have that plus a a quest bar if you're if you need a lot of food for some reason and uh, either way you're you're good to go <clears throat> so uh, the other thing I would say is make sure that you exercise often and you drink lots of water and the reason I say that that's going to help you with self-sabotage is because if you're if you're working hard to get a body, to get a certain kind of body, I mean, outside what you already do for your sleeve, you're tend to, you tend to uh, eat less junk, so you start looking at food more as fuel instead of entertainment. And I think uh, once you look at it just as fuel, you're going to try to pick the best fuel possible, and you're looking for results out of that fuel. So I think uh, if you really get into exercise, that's going to help you, uh, help keep you, you from self-sabotaging. Um, I think that's it as far as self-sabotaging. Jennifer Johnson had, had talked, put a post up today or yesterday, anyway, it was the other day, um, talking about how you shouldn't tempt your, uh, tempt your sleeve or your R&Y um, or your lap band, you know, don't. Don't even uh, make an attempt to drink soda or eat bread or have candy of some kind or eat pastas or rices. Don't even try it because what if you can eat those things without getting sick and that puts you in a really bad spot. Once you know you can, it's going to be a lot harder to resist. So that's just something to throw in at the end. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching my extremely long video. Wow, I had no idea. I've been babbling for almost 10 minutes. Uh, anyway, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will talk to you next time. And don't forget, the journey doesn't stop till you do. See ya.